A lot of life comes down to figuring things out. It's what humans do, improving and tweaking things to make them better. If we're baking a birthday cake, we often use the recipe as a base and add our own flair. We might add extra vanilla to make the vanilla cream more, um, vanilla-y. If we're trying to figure out how much gas it takes to get from Tallahassee to Toledo, we consider our known variables. Speed, weight of vehicle, weather, and driving style. I'm talking to you, Mr. Lightfoot. And if we want to win the world's biggest tomato contest, it might take us years to discover the perfect balance of sun, water, fertilizer, and shh, our super secret plant food. The problem is, experimentation by changing one thing at a time is not efficient. Trial and error is a real trial, and then an error, and then another trial, and another error, and well, you get the point. Luckily, there's a different approach that is applicable to any system in life where measuring and optimizing something is required. It's efficient, it's scientific, and it works. It uses statistics. Wait, 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 don't go yet. We use statistics to find the best answer in the least amount of time using the fewest number of experiments. It allows you to figure things out in faster and better ways. For example, what's the recipe that would pop the most perfect popcorn? McMaster University is offering this course, Experimentation for Process Improvement. We'll teach you the way to figure things out, which could make you stand out at work, help you optimize your business, or let you land that big promotion. It's taught by me, Kevin Dunn, of McMaster University in Hamilton, Canada. Sign up now for the course, Experimentation for Process Improvement, at Coursera.org.